Let's begin by displaying a purchase order. Here we see our purchase order and all of the information about the PO. It's for a PC from CEB in New York City. Let's open the attachment list and see the documents for the purchase order. We see that there are two documents in the attachment list. Let's add a new business document. We click the pull down, store business document, and then we select our PO attachment. We drag and we drop a new invoice into the window to upload it to SAP. Once the document is uploaded to SAP, we click and save the document, and then we see that there are now three documents in the attachment list. In the background, what's going to happen is Gimmel Document Management for SAP will archive the document from SAP into SharePoint Online. I have a SharePoint site called Procure to Pay. I have a library for my different types of purchase orders. When we look into the purchase order library, we see the new document that we just added through SAP GUI is archived to SharePoint. All of the metadata has been populated from the PO information in SAP based on the purchase order number. We can see all of the metadata, and if we want to see in more detail, we simply click the invoice and select the Properties tab in SharePoint. Here we can see all of the metadata in detail. But we can also import documents into SharePoint and have them attach to SAP. Let's go back to the top level of our site collection and upload a new document. Using Gimmel Zones, we're going to drag and drop an invoice onto the zone and enter the information about the purchase order. When we drop the document, a dialog box appears and we enter one piece of information, the purchase order number in SAP. We then click OK. The document is uploaded into SharePoint and put into a special library called the PO Dropoff Library. Gimmel Document Management for SAP monitors this library, looks at the purchase order, and then moves it to the proper library based on the metadata. Here we see our new invoice moved into the purchase order library, again with all of the metadata populated from the PO information in SAP. If we go back to SAP and look at our attachment list for the same purchase order, we'll see that there are now four documents associated to the PO. Nothing has changed for your SAP user. They view their documents through SAP GUI by opening the attachment list and clicking on the document. Let's upload another purchase order in SharePoint, but this time we're going to attach it to a different purchase order in SAP. Again, we drag and drop a document onto the Gimmel Zone. When the dialog box appears, we enter, enter a different purchase order number and click OK to save the document. As we save the document, it's uploaded again into our purchase order drop-off library. Gimmel Document Management for SAP monitors the library, sees the new PO, queries SAP, and determines it's different than the first purchase order. This time, the document is routed to the German Documents Library in SharePoint. Now, why did this route to a different library? Well, using the routing rules of Gimmel Document Management for SAP, we can look at the purchase order information and make a determination where to route the documents. If we enter the purchase order number in SAP and look at the details for the purchase order, what we're going to see is by looking at the address information associated to this purchase order, we'll see that the vendor is actually located in Berlin, Germany. We used that information from SAP to determine where to store the document in SharePoint and still attach it back to the attachment list in SAP. Since our documents are all stored in SharePoint, we can leverage other, other services in Microsoft 365 like Search. Gimbal Enhanced Search allows me to create different search profiles where I can then enter a search term and hit Enter. When the search results are returned, I see my results in a nice grid view where I can determine what metadata columns are displayed and how many documents should be shown. I can use additional properties to limit my search or I can configure refiners on the left, which is what we'll do here. 
We'll select the refiner for my purchase order content type and limit the search results to only documents related to SAP purchase orders. Here we see all of our metadata information stored in SharePoint. Thank you for joining us for this demonstration of Gimmel Document Management for SAP.